Well, welcome to another Unmuted. I am so glad that you're joining us and you're probably expecting me right now to introduce a special guest, but we're changing things up a little bit. We've had lots of questions from some of you about how does the Blackburn family spend their holidays and what are the things that are important to us? What do we like to eat? What do I like to cook? So we thought we would take a few minutes today and answer some of your questions. Well, the first one right off the bat was what is your favorite side dish that you make for Thanksgiving? And our family loves a dressing that I do that is a, a cornbread dressing, but it has no turkey and no meat in it. And it has uh, apples and cranberries and um, it has peppers and onions and oh it's just absolutely wonderful. We got the recipe from someone and they called it spa dressing because it was a vegetarian dish and it is absolutely yummy. Um, somebody wanted to know if I liked cranberry relish that was canned or fresh. And I'm one of those, I like to make that cranberry relish every year. And mine is with fresh cranberries. Sometimes I will throw some canned cranberry, whole cranberry sauce into that. But I do um, oranges and pineapple and usually put uh, some toasted pecans or almonds and it's so that it's a good hearty relish and actually it's a good to serve it either hot or cold and some years i do serve it as a warm cranberry relish with dressing and with turkey and it's absolutely yummy and uh, what's a good hostess gift to take along one of my favorites is to have uh, towels, bathroom towels, little hand towels, paper hand towels printed, personalized for the host and take that to them. Another thing that I like are just wonderful, yummy smelling candles. We all appreciate having a new fresh candle to burn in our house. Pumpkin pie or pecan at our house, it is pecan pie. And growing up in South Mississippi, uh, growing up basically in a pecan orchard and spending many years of my youth picking up pecans on Saturday mornings, I have grown to really love toasting those pecans and then making that high with that thick hero syrup base. Um, you just can't beat it, especially when you serve it with vanilla ice cream. What's something you can make for guests who have dietary restrictions? And we do this. We have someone that is vegan in our family. We have gluten-free in our family. We have pescatarian, we have vegetarian. So uh, roasted vegetables are a great place to, to start with just some of those hearty fall root vegetables that are so yummy at this time of the year and roasting those with some balsamic vinegar and oil and some spices. It smells great when it is cooking in the kitchen and they are absolutely wonderful to eat. And on a weekend when you're going to want to dip into the desserts, they're diet friendly. And how do I utilize the Thanksgiving leftovers? Well, there's a recipe that we love. It's called chicken bernet. And what we'll do is take that turkey that's left over and turn that into a turkey bernet. The, bernet. the other thing that we do is to make soup. And this is wonderful with your leftover turkey or ham. And also we use some of that leftover ham from the holidays in a quiche or into omelets for Sunday morning. Um, what am I most thankful for? Oh, my family. And I just love them all dearly. Uh, also for the freedoms that we have in this country. 
and always at Thanksgiving, we say thank you to our men and women in uniform who protect our freedom, who protect this nation, and to all of our law enforcement and our first responders who keep our communities safe. Do you put your Christmas tree up before or after Thanksgiving? Well, we don't play the Christmas music. We don't put the lights up, the wreath up, or the tree up until we have finished our Thanksgiving dinner. And then Thanksgiving afternoon, while the football games are on, we generally start to get those Christmas decorations up and we'll take time over the weekend to go ahead and get them in place in the house. What is your favorite Blackburn family tradition? You know, we have this program, Christmas program, Christmas Eve program that we do every Christmas Eve. And when I was a kid, my brother, sister, and I started this as a family program. And my family has continued this. Everybody's got to have a talent. Everybody's got to be able to sing. We read that Christmas story and we celebrate the time with one another. What was the best Christmas gift you've ever received? This is a hard one for me because many times the best gifts are not something that you are physically given. It is the visits and the relationships and the fun that you have spending time with family and friends. Well, eggnog or hot chocolate for a chocolate lover like me, always hot chocolate. And my grandkids think I make the best hot chocolate. Of course, I use half and half and I top it with whipped cream. I put a cherry on top and they think it is a wonderful treat. And of course it is, but it's got to be 2,000 calories a cup by the time I finish with it. But they're kids. They can do it. What do the holidays mean to you? Well, to me and to our family, it is an opportunity for us to have a little bit of extra time to be able to enjoy one another. We're not having to rush off to meetings or to sporting events at the school. It is a time just to have an easier morning, a little bit longer at the dinner table, to have great conversations. And with our family and the time we spend together, we try to have a different topic every night. We talk about what we're grateful for. We talk about the goals that we had for the year, where we met a goal, where we came up short, and we talk about our hopes and dreams for the year to come. I hope that your holidays are as special as ours. So happy Thanksgiving, Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, and a happy new year.